between an interviews in the boxers. And firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the white trunks trimmed with red and green and comes from Mexico City in at Mexico. He weighed in at 10 stone, one and a quarter pounds and comes to the ring tonight with a sensational professional record of 56 contests, 46 wins, 30 by way of knockout with nine losses and one draw. He's the former lightweight champion of the world. Please welcome from Mexico, Cesar Bazan. And across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed with white. He weighed in at 10 stone, one and a half pounds. Comes to the ring undefeated as a professional. 15 wins from 15 contests. Seven wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Ireland and Dungibbons, Paul McCluskey. Bazan has had twice, twice as many knockouts in his career as Paul McCluskey has had fights. Kluskey goes after his man. He's really focused McCluskey tonight. He wants to perform well, he wants to have a huge crowd here supporting him from both Derry and Donegal and other places, north and west. There's a big audience here on RT television and most important of all, he'll go right into those rankings and a European title is round the corner if he performs here tonight. The second round is good for McCluskey as well. And I haven't seen him, Dave, throwing the left hand as often. No, but they tell me, and they, I, I was talking to John Breen and these guys earlier on, and I was talking about McCluskey's dropping his left hand and dropping his right hand. They say he's got a great chin, and, uh, but I say he doesn't have to prove to anybody he's got a great chin. You should always be very careful. He, he did have some trouble with his hand after the fight in Limerick on the Andy Lee bill. But there's not much sign of trouble pain here to because he is boxing like a gym. If you were to take out the handbook of the game and, sh and show it, and show me a demonstration, of what it says in this handbook, Paul McCluskey could turn around and say, OK, let's go. Here it is. South fall lead. Edge. If he could do it, he could do it. Oh, that's a great left by McCluskey. Just as the Mexican was loading up with the right hand. Just as Bazan was thinking about McCluskey nipped in. He's quicker to the punch, McCluskey. He's beating Bazan to the punch. He's beating him to the thinking, and he's what scoring. He's doing best is now is boxing, moving, and catching this guy at will. And he's actually making this man look very, very ordinary. He certainly is. A man with all those professional fights behind him. A former world champion, and McCluskey's the one who's dictating it. Paul McCluskey from Dungiven, County Derry. Came through the amateurs there, outstanding amateur, and now he's boxing for Doe, and boxing what's more, to get maybe a shot at a European title, and that could very well be his next fight. He went over to see Lyons winning, retaining a title. This is great stuff from McCluskey. Scoring it would appear to me at will. Terrific right leads, good left off, hand, nice off. variety, upstairs, downstairs, and round the side door as well. Good Cut stuff. the left and a good right, McCluskey, last 10 seconds of the round, and a deep intake of breath there from, uh, and he's not just trying to fill his lungs for the continuing energy that he needs, because there's no doubt, after four rounds, it's four oh. tens for Paul McCluskey and four nines for his opponent. So at this moment, I reckon it's 40 points to 39. Only for low, but he felt it. He comes back though with two punches of his own, one of them out of distance but uh, pretty well. There are moments in the fight when, of course, he'll have to give ground, but he's not prepared to do it right now. And does this Mexican know that he's up against a really good one here? If he didn't beforehand, I never heard of McCluskey. He certainly knows it now. McCluskey's hands are busy. And that left of the body is sinking in, and Bazan doesn't like it. Who does? And a right hand to follow, and Bazan's in apparent trouble now. A couple of more good shots here from McCluskey. Could really sicken this boy in the interval, but there's not enough time left in this round. Another absolutely superb round for McCluskey. Hey! Defensively, he has been sensational. Trying enough a cut this time, McCluskey. Left to the body, hooking left hand to the head. All from McCluskey. Right! 
Mr. Pike. Right hand to the jaw, left hand to the jaw, both from Bazan. With good scoring punches. Good this time, Matusti. Oh, oh, left stuff. to die for and a right cross to smirk at. There's not many smiles on the face of Bazan now. And he counters just when Bazan seems to be in with something. McCullough or Mc McCluskey throws that right hand out again, catches him on the side of the jaw. Good stuff from Paul. Chases after his man. Right hand again from McCluskey. Right, left, right. The face is grimacing, the face of the Mexican. It's a handful he can't handle, really. Doesn't know how to get out of this. And he's running out of rounds as McCluskey punishes him. This is a brilliant performance by Paul Matluski. Well, you know, we can grow them here as well. And this is the sort of thing we try to do at that time. Be elusive, not get hit. Because it's a wonderful game if you can only hit and not be hit. We could all be champions, but McCluskey is a champion truly in the making. And against a man of great substance, a wonderful CV, a great record, McCluskey tonight. And he hasn't done any running. He hasn't taken backward steps. He has been the offensive one, and that's a big plus. Yeah, he's going forward all the time, but he's making himself so hard to hit. That he's going forward, and you think, because he's so hard to hit, you think he's going back, if you know what I mean. It's very hard to describe. But Bazan has just lost, he's just lost radius on how to come to terms with Paul McCluskey. It's everything he's trying, he's feeling at the way, he's trying hooks, he's trying jabs, he's trying to mix it, but McCluskey won't, won't, won't mix it for too long. He just doesn't know what to do with this man. And he's just run out of it. The book is absolutely, every page has been turned over and he just doesn't know where to go to next. How many punches are in the book? There's uppercuts, there's hooks, there's swings, there's straight lefts, there's straight rights. McCluskey has thrown the whole lot tonight. Every pick of them. And he only has the last few seconds now to survive. Four, three, two. He's nearly there. And he oh! is undoubtedly, undoubtedly the winner. Paul McCluskey from Dungiven County Derry. I reckon he may have won nine of the ten rounds. Indeed, he may have won the whole darn ten. The referee's uh, scorecard, Mr. Lemuel Tate, scores the contest. Uh, Cesar Bazan, 91 points. Paul McCluskey, 100 points. The winner and 16 undefeated contest, Paul McCluskey. What a fabulous performance! That was exactly what Dave Boy McCauley had it for. Well done, congratulations. You must be very well pleased. Yes, sir. Uh, it, was, it was an amazing night for me. The fourth headline in Letter County. I think I made about a half day night and I'm delighted. And thanks to Brian and a lot of other people that I just can't remember the money, but a lot of people thank you. This is very important for you personally because obviously you want to move on and, and go on to better things. From a personal point of view, what are your objections? What are your ambitions? Uh, well, at the minute, <laughs> I had a hard fighting as an ex world champion, which was a, was a great feeling to be the boy like that. When you're with someone like that, you know you're with a class act. That boy, that boy is a tough, tough man. Uh, as far as the future goes, we'll leave it to Brian and John and everybody else on the team to talk about, you know what I mean? So the future's hopefully looking bright. <laughs> Being from Dungiven, I know that's only down the road. You were in Letterkenny here in Donegal, but it's very important for Ulster because they love their boxing. And you've got huge support here tonight. Massive, massive. It's great. At the moment, Irish boxing's blossoming. You've, well, like I can say now myself, you've Andy Lee, you've John Duddy, you've James Murr. There's a, there's a talent out there of boxers. It's, it's, it's just a good time for Irish boxing. And you, you were never in trouble tonight, really. I mean, you seem to be always in control. Were you concerned at any stage? Well, to be honest, I felt that, that, that guy hits very hard. I mean, like, you know, he didn't knock out 30 people for nothing. As Ricky Hatton said, it's not a tackling contest, so... <laughs> but uh, he, he threw a lot of bombs at night, you know, and say, I, I, was, I was good enough to get out of the way, and that was, that was the main thing. Well, well done. I think you've done Ulster and Donegal, and indeed done Given proud. Stay with us, Paul. John. where are you going with this young boxer? He's proven 16 professional fights out of 16. That's impressive. I expect Paul McCluskey to be world champion before the end of 08. I think he's the ability to do it. All the other talk about John Duddy and Andy Lee, Paul McCluskey's the man to do it. When, when the word goes out, and it's going out now live on RT television, but indeed around the world, that Paul McCluskey has beaten Cesar Bazan, will that be a huge attraction to everybody else, that they must put McCluskey in for a title fight? He broke Cesar Bazan's heart there. He never lost a round against him. He is a world class fighter. He is a world class fighter. McCluskey broke his heart. So 
that shows anybody knows anything about boxing it shows how good public oh, you want to say something? I would just like to thank everybody who's come to support me. I really appreciate it and thank you very much, okay? Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul McCluskey.